Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. This is the second installment of my Harlem series here. We are back with Rob and we are below 125th Street this time to see a little bit of a different brownstone right next to Mount Morris Park. We're gonna meet Rob one more time. We call this home the castle because of the distinct uh, Romanesque revival architecture with neo-Gothic accents. So you guys saw the last house and it was sparkling, brand new. This house has been got renovated just 20 years ago. So that's why I wanted to show you guys this one because you get a sense of how you can lay out the space. Yes, and th this home is not in the Landmark District. It's right next to one. So you can add 2,000 square feet to this home up and back. So you're entering the triplex uh, of, the, of the home. This is a welcoming area, sitting area. Uh, the owner of this home is uh, Rod Keenan, uh, Rod Keenan, New York. He's a pretty world-renowned milliner. Um, and he's from New York City, and this is some of his work. So we're leaving the entrance welcoming area with a reading nook. We're gonna enter now into what, what is set aside for dining. You have a six person dining set here. Uh, you have 12 foot ceilings. So another unique feature of this home is the side windows. Um, you have them here and in the back half of the house. The, this stairwell goes all the way down two levels, giving you a lot of room for artwork. Uh, Rod was an artist, as you can see. So everyone nowadays needs an office space in their home. There's a lot of nooks and crannies in this house. Uh, I would call this office nook number one. Rod uses this as a office space, but it is multifunctional. And you know, there's more space downstairs that Rod uses for a workshop and additional offices. Not every room has a powder room on the parlor level. Nowadays, a lot of the kitchens are on this level and you do have running water, so adding a powder room is very important, but you'd be surprised at how many homes don't have that. All right, who cooks in your family? Uh, my wife and I do equally, maybe me a little more. Okay, what do you cook the best? Since you're from Virginia. I'm from Virginia, so I do my Southern meals, but um, my, some of my sons are getting into cooking, so we're trying some more international dishes. The good thing is that you'd be able to keep all your spices for all that cooking that you guys are gonna be doing. They built up with all of the cabinets, so there's tons of space to store everything. Yes, yeah, so, and storage is important. My wife is Indian, so we do a, a, I've conquered all the Indian meals, but we have a separate cabinet set aside just for Indian spices, so this kitchen would come in handy for our international uh, adventures. This is what you get to do when you take a house that you got renovate yourself. You can make it your own. So taking this still old building, these little nooks and crannies, you can have storage spaces like this. All right, so this is the living, the main living space on this floor. Right? Yes, yes. I love that he put his own touches. I think this is like grass cloth wallpaper and he's got very traditional style. In this room, you also have uh, a wood burning fireplace, which is a great addition. So the side windows we spoke about, very important, very unique. And also the double exposure takes us right into the south facing garden. All right, so you have a smaller balcony here that goes into the backyard, the expansive backyard. And this is great for coffee, cocktails. What do you have with your coffee? What do I have with my coffee? <laughs> a little Bailey snow. <laughs> I could do margaritas if you push me. So suite number one, everyone loves closets, plenty of closet space. You have a linen closet here directly across from your bathroom, more closets. Closets here uh, across from a walk-in closet. Okay, so now we're entering the sleeping area of suite number one. And as Niaja said, this is your grass cloth wallpaper, That's I think right. she said. All right, right, gotcha. And then this, what is wonderful about this room is you can exit directly into the backyard. And um, I have a nice bedroom, but I would love this option. For this backyard, you have the patio upstairs, but then you have access right off your bedroom to this as well. And uh, yes, and also the third level down, which is unique, you have access from the workshop up the steps. So the lot is 100 feet. The house is 75 feet on three levels. And then at the top, it's 50 feet. So it's a stepped approach. So now we're entering suite number two, which is far away from suite number one because of the length of this house. Um, you have a Carrera marble bathroom here to your left. You have a couple of closets uh, right across from the bathroom, which is nice. Which is unique about this setup is they have a second doorway here in case you don't want it to be a suite and you want guests to use this bathroom, you can close this door here. So they have it set up more as a guest room slash office. So yes. if you had two people working from home, this is definitely something that you can do. But I love this built in bookshelf. It really ties into the theme that they have here. Right. And office number two, we talked about a lot of nooks and crannies. You have office number two. There's more coming. 
instead of using the dining room, if you wanted to make it a movie night, you could bring everyone down here, get on this huge day bed, and then kind of chill out in this Zen space. All right, so now we are in the basement level of the house, and uh, this, this basement is 75 feet long. Rod used it for his manufacturing in the front. This was his office in the back. Uh, he actually made these hats for a lot of famous people here. I'll put one on. Yeah, let's see you try on one of those. See, I have a few of his hats. I didn't wear one today. Um, it also has an exit directly into the backyard that we were in earlier. There's a lot that can be done down here. The beautiful thing is all the plumbing, electric, everything is brand new, a little rustic now, but with the little spit and polish, as they say where I'm from, you could uh, really make this a unique living space. So you have your exposed brick. We're entering uh, apartment two, the penthouse, we call it. Exposed brick all the way from your main entrance. And we've got two floors here, right? How? What's the square footage? What are the details on so this space? These two floors, the, the bottom floors are 75 foot long. These are 50. You've got a total with two floors, 1,500 square feet of space inside and a 375 square foot uh, deck overlooking the yard. And the good thing about this is you can expand a little bit, right? You can. So How we, much square footage can we get? How many more bedrooms? What can we do with this? Yeah, so if you're crazy and you want to go all out, you can add another 2,000 square feet onto this home on the roof or um, in some in the back. Um, but what most people do is they add what's called a penthouse level, which is some certain parameters. So it's a small penthouse in the middle and then you add, add additional decks on top. You can increase the value of your house by so much just by having that extra square footage that you could use. You don't have to do it right away if you don't have the budget, but that's something to think about if you wanna have some value add in a house raise up that price when you're ready to sell. So the last townhouse we showed you guys, the second unit did have access to the backyard space, but this one is a little bit different and you have this access to a big deck. This house, again, it's divided into two e almost equal units. Right. So each person has their own private space. So what could you do up here to make this even more private? We said that it had 2000 square feet that you could add. So you could just add that square footage here in the back, wrap it around over the roof and add 2000 square feet to your home or you can enclose this into a greenhouse or whatever you may want to do, or enclose this and have another deck um, up top. Okay, leaving the living area and this dining area, you have this kitchen centrally located. A lot of people remove this wall, add a bar and bar stools, which is a nice uh, addition. Full bath and off of bedroom number one. Okay, so in this room, one of the features of this house they call the castle is you have a uh, Romanesque arch windows on this level. You can see completely down, um, you're looking at uh, Columbia up on the hill and at the bottom here, uh, just a block and a half away, you have Restaurant Row, Frederick Douglass Boulevard. Then if you go this way, Mount Morris Park Historic District. Okay, so bedroom two faces south, overlooks the backyard, direct sunlight. You got some hall closets here for storage, full bathroom, and then you have a uh, full laundry room. So this nook right across from the washer dryer room is the area that is adjacent to the skylight. And this is where you would either use the current ladder, create a ship ladder with a, a hatch, or better yet, add another set of steps to go right where the skylight is onto the roof and get yourself a roof deck at a minimal or a penthouse level. Or if you want, add that 2000 square feet that wraps around the back of the house. Now we're entering the, my favorite room in this house because of the, again, you have your Romanesque architecture here with your uh, dormer windows at the top. That's the actually, from the outside, you'll see the castle look. Very high ceilings, uh, probably 15, 16 foot here. And again, you look completely west to watch the sunset over Columbia University. Thank you guys so much for joining us on this second brownstone tour. Thank you, Rob, for having us. Yeah, plenty more if you want to come back. If you want to check out more homes and learn more about Rob, you can go to his newly formed YouTube channel. Yes, and uh, harlemlofts.com and you'll see uh, $30 million worth of townhouses listed right now. Yeah, that's a lot of real estate. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one.